Alright, so hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Now this is the Pioneer SCCH3DB. Now Pioneer is a company based in Japan, Tokyo, uh, founded by a guy called Nozomo Matsumoto back in 1938. Now this company mostly specialized in uh, sort of car audio and home theater stuff for a while. And it seemed like only in recent years that they start getting into more high-end audio. So uh, this is one of the products which is just a pair of earphones which um, seem like a decent blend between like IEMs and just more standard commercially available earphones. Now the actual body of the uh, earbuds themselves are made of aluminum, pretty good quality aluminum. I'm sure you could just like step on these and they'd just be fine. The cable is about four foot long or four feet long, it's about 1.2 meters in length. And it's made of this nice like soft rubber with a non-replaceable cable. So this means you're stuck with that four, four, or four feet of length. They're pretty good quality. I'm pretty sure they last for a decent while. Now the spouts are pretty weird as they're quite short, but also very broad, like this very thick sort of sprout. So it's not very, uh, it doesn't have like a very high range of support, unfortunately for other ear, trip, ear tips I've tried. And they're just a bit too big. For just my ears like they can just barely fit using the regular ear tips and if i were to use any of mine they just straight up will not go inside my ears so it's a bit of an odd design but it's fine considering well the actual like drivers themselves are pretty small so these are quite comfortable to like wear while watching something in bed or something like that um so yeah the comfort overall is fine but i would not suggest like digging these into your ears because they are pretty uncomfortable and i can't really use them for long periods of time now the actual specifications well it has an impotence of about 16 ohms um a decibel sensitivity about 102 decibels um and a frequency response of 8 hertz to 40 kilohertz which is uh, seriously pretty good for the price range uh, and the driver size is 5.5 millimeters pretty tiny and uh, another interesting thing about the drivers is that the diaphragm itself is coated in graphene which apparently they claim gives better low frequency response so um, I'll talk more about that as we go along uh, with the track so the way I like to review just generally audio or specifically these is I pick three main tracks for the video so I can use that as a reference so that if you want you can go check the tracks to kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about um, so the first track that I used was Viva Namida by Yasuyuki Okamura now this is very bassy, like nice and funky track, kind of like your old typical 80s or 90s sort of, you know, funk era kind of music. It's pretty good as a whole and with the bass in mind, the bass coming through these are pretty well rounded with a decent punch, uh, not like absolutely like, you know, just proper you know, feeling. They're not like super punchy, but they, you do feel the impact considering the size, it's not bad. Now, even within this track, which already doesn't have a very wide imaginary soundstage, yeah, you can already tell that these, uh, just the imaginary soundstage or the sort of uh, instrument separation is just not great. It's all just blended in, um, and, it, and it, you can tell that this is... Um, this has like a very flat sound signature with attacks and delays, just more or less feeling very softened, um, which kind of gives this kind of like fake warmth to it, um, which I'm not sure is it because of the graphene coated driver or is it because of the way they tune these, because these overall sound kind of flat, but at the same time, just because of how they've softened out, you know, the attacks and delays that it just sounds um, a little weird at times, like as in it just about sounds accurate, but also like because there's no real separation between the instruments, it's just, um, yeah, it just sounds kind of just stuffed together, essentially. Now, track number two is Downgrade Desert by Igor. Now, Igor is this French musician who essentially the music he does is more like a mix of black metal, baroque music and break core and hip, like trip hop, essentially like this very trippy, almost like black metal mixed with a bunch of like very interesting like almost like middle eastern music so there's a lot of like highs and mids you know within this track with a very strong rhythm and like a very groovy kind of thing with a lot of like stops and starts but essentially it has very strong highs and mids now the mids coming through these earbuds are 
decent, they're actually pretty good. But the highs are kind of average, if I'm honest, just because the attacks on the highs are just too soft, but you just can't hear the detail. Now, the detail for the mids are pretty good for the price, but then in this track especially, where like, if I were to use even just a regular pair of earphones, uh, not earphones, sorry, headphones that I have lying around, um, the sort of instrument separation is just pretty much non-existent in this compared to like a regular pair of headphones, which is unfortunate, but again, for the price, you know, $20, I guess, is not bad. Now, another last thing about this track which I noticed was that the drums as well, like in a lot of the sections, kind of lack that punchiness. Uh, like the low end on the drums are fine, but it lacks that nice like impact that normally this track would have. Now finally, for the last track I picked was Ride by Norika. Uh, this is a very acoustic, simple sort of like rock uh, song, like kind of a, almost like a rock ballad you could almost call it. Um, but this, you know, I was, again, the low end was quite impressive, like I was not expecting that much, like I guess, uh, detail in the low end. However, this song is, um, has very strong lows and highs and the highs, again, like the high end of the song, like coming through these, just feels like it's missing a lot of detail just because it feels like it's basically being rounded off, like it's being too softened, like it's almost like they're just too scared to kind of give these more detail on the high end, kind of worrying that it would come off as harsh or distorted. At least that's what I, I think how they went about making these. I feel like they made these more for the general public and not really for like, um, I guess, audiophiles. And I'm not really an audiophile, as you can probably guess by the tracks I picked. I'm just more of an audio nerd at best. So yeah, like, uh, again, the high end's a little bit mm, not great on the song because it actually does have a pretty decent high end, but um, like this track itself, but the earphones are just not able to replicate it properly much well unfortunately in this one's case i think it's just because of the price they did cut down on a lot of what would appeal to just much more higher quality audio but overall like again for its price and for i just guess the size of what the purpose of just being small drivers it's fine now they're decently comfortable but again would not suggest like using these for like working out because they can't like even for just simple movement they kept falling out or even when playing like an instrument like the drums now i just wouldn't uh, suggest it but for just pure sound quality for just like the low end and the mid range this is better than most in its price so for that i would say it's pretty good but anyway with that being said um thank you guys for watching and uh yeah i'll see all you guys later peace